comes with an expiration date. Did you know that? According to the experts, those seats should be replaced within six years of the manufacture date. But you don't have to toss them out. Those seats can be recycled. Yeah, we sent Team 12's parent in training, Monica <laughs> Garcia, out to find out the best oh boy. way to do that. Monica, <laughs> what are you learning out there? Do you guys know something I don't? <laughs> what I'm learning is that your child's car seat may not meet current safety standards. And it's really a head scratcher. I've been saying when you think about car seats expiring, you really don't think of that. I mean, you think you go to the second hand stores or there's always a family member that wants to give you something and it usually is a car seat when you have a baby. But talk to me about that. Well, used seats aren't generally a good idea unless you know the history because the child seat's actually designed for one crash and one crash only. There's a checklist you go through after an accident. Did the airbags deploy? Were you able to drive away? Was anybody injured? Was the child in the seat? Was the crash on that side? It's about 12 points you go through. But most of the time, if you have an insurance claim on the car, likely the child seat's going to be part of it. Yeah, and that's really interesting to hear. Of course, this is Jim. His uh, He's from NARPRO, and he, you're an actual car safety seat technician. So that's your job to actually know how to install them. But to tell people, hey, they do expire. So what's an easy way for someone at home to check and see if their car seat is expired? Well, the child seat's almost always going to have it imprinted, but unfortunately, it's black on black. You can see here I put white crayon on it so you can read it better. This seat is not yet expired. It was actually manufactured. The manufactured labels are a lot easier to read. Oh, I see it right there. So this one's February. Oh, okay, this one says 2017. Right, it's a fairly new seat, but we're gonna recycle it this year. Okay, I like that. Okay, so give or take, what's the general rule? I say 2017, I think, okay, it's about two years old. What's the general rule? Seven to 10 years is about the expiration on the child seat. Okay, that's pretty smart. So the person who decided they no longer needed that didn't just throw it in the dumpster. They decided to do what? The right thing to recycle it. Right. You can take it to any NARPRO shop throughout the year, but particularly this, this month, because Earth Day is coming up, we have the recycle event usually on the Saturday proximate to Earth Day. This is great. It's a twofold reason. Earth Day, obviously, to keep the environment. This is environment friendly coming out here and recycling, but then also keeping your children safe. So let's talk about the cool things you can actually do with these car seats once they are recycled. Well, what we do is we take the padded material, the quilted part, we take that to the animal shelter and they use it for bedding for the animals. The, the hard foam, like this um, styrene type foam, they actually make building materials out of it. They can, you can make a house out of the old child wow. seats. And then some of the some of the latches and tethers are long enough that they make a pretty convenient leash. So when you're picking up a, a new animal, you can get a free leash when it comes along with it. Yeah, so they do not belong in the garbage. And obviously, if you're going to donate them, uh, that's OK. But we want to make sure that people who are purchasing them check that expiration date, because ultimately, we want your family safe. You did make an interesting point. You also said that the plastic material, it warps in the desert heat. Well, you leave a plastic seat inside the car and the car gets super heated in the summertime. So they're not really sure what's going to happen in an accident. And that's one of the reasons why they want you to, you know, expire the seat. Usually it's long enough you're going to outlive the use for most kids. I mean, how long are you going to be in the seat anyway? Yeah, makes sense. Okay, so happening over the next couple of days, look at this. It says NARPRO. There's several locations, more than a dozen across the valley. You want people to do what? If you can bring us the seats by Thursday on Saturday, we're going to take them apart, de-engineer them, and we're going to recycle it. I like it. I think it's pretty cool how you turn these into uh, bedding for puppies at the shelter. My dog would probably chew it up. All right, thank you so much. Live in Phoenix, I'm Monica Garcia. Back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Monica. And you know what? If you can't make it to that recycling event, Target will accept old car seats between April 22nd and May 4th. The company says it'll accept any car seat, even if it's dirty. If you drop it off with them, you'll get a 20% off coupon to be used toward the price of a new car seat or other baby gear.